Hello there. And there you have it. Even the voters in Theresa May's own constituency want to see her deal ditched. A YouGov poll of 25,000 voters conducted on a constituency-by-constituency -constituency basis shows that the majority of voters in all 632 parliamentary constituencies in England, Scotland and Wales want their MP to vote Mrs May's withdrawal agreement down. The Times reports that only the Dorset town of Christchurch and South Holland and the Deepings in Lincolnshire show that her deal has more support than not. And in Theresa May's own constituency of Maidenhead, those asked also rejected her deal by a majority of 54% to 46%. And while out canvassing, Andrea Thorpe, the chairman of Maidstone and Weald Conservative Association, found scant support for the withdrawal agreement. In fact, leaving on a no-deal Brexit basis seemed to be the favourite route to take. In a Twitter video, Andrea Thorpe reports... We're out canvassing at the moment, and the people are telling us on the doorstep that they'll only vote for us in the local elections if we leave on the 29th of March and preferably with no deal. And a poll run by BMG Research for the Independent also shows that 52% of voters would not like to see any delay to Brexit of more than six months. With the Independent saying... The data flies in the face of extensions advocated in Brussels by Remainers and even some Brexiteers. They have talked about pushing back the date of the UK's departure for a year or more, something supported by fewer than one in five, according to the survey. Doesn't this just go to show how many of our MPs are so up their own existences that they have absolutely no clue what their constituents really think? Or maybe the only people who will now talk to them are those of a like mind who are content to see the UK handed over to a foreign power or who just don't care. But whatever the case, it is as clear as day that our MPs and the party machines behind them no longer reflect the views of the voters and even the members of their own parties. Apart, of course, from those political parties that openly want to see the UK dismantled the SNP, Plaid Cymru, Sinn Féin, the Green Party and the Liberal Democrats, for example. But Jeremy Hunt is still there, saying that Brexit will be lost if his fellow MPs don't vote for Theresa May's deal. Talking on the BBC Mar show, Mr Hunt said that the Tory party was in perilous waters. Now there's an understatement. If they don't just get on and deliver a WTO Brexit by the 29th of March, their party will be finished. What a plank. But thankfully, either by stupidity or by design, he's just given the pro-EU MPs in the House, and that's the majority of them of course, the perfect excuse to vote her deal down. He also said that there was wind in the sails of those opposing Brexit, and all they needed to do to stop Brexit, he said, was vote her deal down, get an extension, and then get a second referendum. That all sounds so simple, doesn't it? Well, voting May's deal down is simply the best and most sensible thing this Parliament will have done in some while. But getting an extension of the over one year timescale required to get a referendum in train might be a little more difficult than he is letting on. I'll just put one question to you and see what you make of it. Would the Republic of Ireland rather see the UK trapped permanently as a vassal state to the EU, where it has de facto handed over Northern Ireland to the Republic, or would they rather see the UK extend the Article 50 process and remain in the EU as full members and stay the big boy in these islands? Remember, the whole plan is to punish the UK if we leave under this EU or merkel author deal. Wouldn't the Republic want to keep the pressure on our MPs to accept servitude? And it only takes one EU member state to veto any extension, remember. Then there's the matter of a second EU referendum. Have these MPs not been listening? Pulling that trick would be just as damaging as accepting May's deal for any MP that backed it. Why our politicians are still playing these pointless games is beyond me. 
their constituents are saying leave now. On WTO terms, no referendum. What more do they need? When May's deal goes down again, the country will expect them all to vote to leave the EU on WTO terms without a deal, using the agreements we have so far managed to strike with the EU on transport, etc. Politicians and activists feed on all this Brexit political frenzy. The press and pundits love endlessly talking about it. But the ordinary voter has had a gutsful of it. They want it finished now. No more referendum arguments and the like. Just leave. They also do not want MPs to hand over the nation's crown jewels by signing up to that UK-destroying withdrawal agreement either. But they want the UK to leave the EU now. That gives those 650 MPs in Westminster a clear instruction. Vote may so-called deal down next week, then vote for a WTO Brexit or watch your party's support bases implode. Now, the government is looking at using new powers that it has to impose price caps on medicines should there be a no-deal Brexit, says the Sunday Telegraph. This is because of what ministers say are a number of unwarranted price rises from some suppliers. But I would like to see the government go further by declaring that the Competitions and Markets Authority will be all over suppliers and retailers post-Brexit to ensure we don't see a Brexit equivalent of the price rises seen immediately after decimalisation in 1971. Although it was inflation that caused the price rises post-1971 and not decimalisation itself, you get the idea. We must not allow the unscrupulous to form cartels or use monopoly power and blame Brexit for any underhand profit-making purposes. So please let us all know what you think about all of this by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button that way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.